Yeah, that's my dog. I had working this morning. I had a little tug of war contest. So I just hung it up on the, you know, pit bull or bully. I don't know. What's the difference? Getting real hard to tell these days. But uh, so funny that he's got a bully bloodline, but a lot of times he acts like a pit bull. Let me tell you his bloodline. Some of you already know. He's a Dax grandson. Listen to him whining. Look at him. He wants to. Be, he's been on that thing for about 20 minutes. It's real humid and muggy outside. It's J July. It's July, man. And uh, look at him. This is a bully. It's a Dax grandson. <laughs> you know. Dax grandson. And then also, he's a Miyagi grandson. And he likes to work, man. He's been on this thing for a while. Let's try a close up. He thinks I'm coming to get it from him. So, he's got a bully bloodline, but if you can see, <laughs> it works hard though. So, bully or pit? I don't know. I don't know. I'm telling you what I think though. I think that when you breed these bullies, they obviously derive from pit bulls. So, different characteristics of the pit bull can come down in some of them. Obviously, you can tell he's a little bit leaner. He's got a nice head on him. His head's about 23 inches. He's about 17 inches tall. So he's a little bit leaner. You know, a little bit leaner than most, most of the bullies. 20, 17 inches, 22 inch head, and he uh, is about 62 pounds. So not not really really big dog, you know. He's not an 80 pound dog or 85 pound dog. It's kind of lean. Yeah, he work this stuff. He just work it, man. He's having fun too. Look at his tail going. Look at that. That's the way he wants to do it. I ain't forcing him to do it. He wants to do it. Almost 25 minutes straight. Just don't want to let go. <laughs> Question is, bully or pit? <laughs>